to number three, Aaron Millett, for a touchdown, Eli. First off, passing the 3,000 yards receiving mark was, was pretty cool. Uh, it's something I had my sight sets on uh, since the end of last season. And hopefully um, I can pass uh, McGeorge for number two and also cross into the 4,000 yard mark for the season over. What would you like to see happen for the Phoenix this fall? To make sure we get a winning season first. Um, that's, that's the first off. Um, and then hopefully make a run in the playoffs. That's what I really want to do. Put another uh, little banner out there beside the one from a couple of years back. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience as a basketball player? Uh, basketball, yeah, growing up, that was my, that was my love. Uh, I still play it to this day whenever I get a chance. Um, it helped me, taught me a lot of discipline. Uh, it was a team sport as well, and uh, helped me with hand-eye coordination, apparently. <laughs> so this one was pretty good. It's carried over a lot, carried over a lot, especially going up for uh, jump balls and things of that nature. Um, do you have any pregame rituals to help you get in the mindset for a game? Uh, yes, I do. I, I eat a uh, little container of Cinnamon Toast Crunch before every game. <laughs> I have to have that uh, to function. Um, also, I uh, say Psalms 23 before, uh, before, right before I hit the field, so that's something important to me. And uh, other than that, just uh, lay, in the locker, lay around the locker room and listen to music. Is there anyone in particular that you look up to or that you would consider a role model? Uh, as far as role models, I'll say first off my father and then my uncles. Um, I look up to all of them, I think highly of each of them in their own separate way, so those will be the role models of my life. I'm sure they're really proud of you. Yes, they are. I right hear you have a nickname, Merle. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, yes, the Merle nickname is actually my first name, okay. uh, but when coming out, Coach Limbo used to call me Merle and nobody knew where it came from, so most people thought it was my nickname, so they're pretty shocked when I tell them it's actually my first name. <laughs> uh, that trending top, it's, pre it's pretty cool. Uh, I'd like to see it actually make a national trending topic uh, one day. Anybody, if anybody has a hashtag, I mean, it makes it pretty cool, I guess. The website NFL Draft Scout has already ranked you as the third best senior wide receiver and a top prospect for the 2013 draft. And Jane Brugler of the NFLDraftScout.com said, despite not facing elite defenses each week, NFL teams and pro scouts are well aware of Millette and his remarkable production. So what's your, your reaction to that? Being ranked um, in the top five of senior receiver class, uh, it's a blessing. Um, that shows uh, that my hard work these last few years has, has paid off. And, um, and being a top uh, prospect for the upcoming draft, huh? it's pretty cool. I mean, I mean, how many guys? I don't know too many guys that have been that coming out of Elon, especially like from Scott Riddle and Terrell Hudgens. So I mean, it's pretty cool to be considered an elite prospect with the with the players from the FBS level. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel like playing a, for a smaller school has affected your football career? Is that more or less pressure? Um, it's more pressure at times, just because I know I'm not playing the elite uh, teams every week. So. When I get my opportunity to play uh, the FBS schools, I gotta make sure I take full advantage of it. Or when I play uh, the App States and the Georgia Southern, I gotta make sure I have a good game because the scouts will be there watching to see how I, how I do it against the top competition on each level. Your success has definitely placed you in a leadership role for your teammates. Is there anything in particular you plan on doing to carry that role? Just just doing what I do best, um, leading by example, trying to keep the team together and practice what I'm preaching out there. I mean, if I'm telling somebody else to go hard, I gotta make sure I'm going hard myself. 